Papua New Guinea, what's the insurance policy like there? I hear it's like very, like even in, like if you Google it, it just says, is it safe to travel? And basically it says no. Carjackings, um, assaults, r armed robbery. Yeah, actually while we were there, there was a huge pile of riots because the, um, because of that government thing that was going on and a bunch of people didn't get paid and they had a, a whole pile of cars get stolen out of the capital that the government had bought. It was quite, uh, luckily we were like out in the middle of nowhere when that was all going on. What did anything crazy happen to you guys and the crew? Uh, yeah, we had some interesting run-ins, multiple, um, very stressful, tense situations with, uh, with people. Yeah, it was, um, I mean, a couple times it actually was a little bit scary. And what about like now the production side of it? Had like uh, had any of the villagers seen like a drone before or like some actually of the, the drone caused quite a bit of issues. Um, <laughs> nobody nobody knew what to think of the drone, and um, and actually at one place uh, I don't know if this will be like on a behind the scenes episode or not, but one place we went, they, the other miners in the area saw the drone flying around and thought that it was thought that they were like mapping out where the gold was um, on other people's ground and thought that it was, you know, like some sort of tool to come um, cause problems with all of the surrounding area and they had to, they came and like confronted the film crew basically and, um, and you know, the guys that were flying the drone showed them the footage of it and um, showed them what they were doing and, and everybody calmed down but, you know, they, they the, the Popwins hadn't seen a drone before and, you know, hadn't seen a lot of the equipment that we had before. There was lots of gold, but just not a lot of technology there and not a lot of equipment and no infrastructure. And it's hard, it's hard without the infrastructure to have equipment because you know, where do parts come from, where do you get the fuel from, and, you know, if you need a hydraulic line made, where does that come from? And so it was, uh, that part of it was difficult, you know, just the logistics in a third world country are, are really tough and so we, we struggled, you know, we struggled with the mining side of it.